Yo, check it. All right, y'all, we got a crazy video. AMC, absolute madness going on right now. We're going to talk about the halt, what happened with the halt, crazy things going on behind the scenes, and where we think AMC and Jamie are going. We're also going to talk about SPY and the overall cryptocurrency market, so you do not want to miss a second of this video. But let's not waste any more of your precious time. Hop in the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. All right, fam, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC, GME, and SPY. This is your daily outlook and prediction for stocks and crypto. This video is not financial advice. We're gonna be looking at what happened with the halt, um, explain a few things that happened with that as well, where I think things are going based off the technicals, and give you guys and girls the news and information you need to know as traders and investors. Let's start off with GME. So GME, we talked about this falling wedge coming down to these lows of about 24.24 and 24 dollars you can see here in pre-market we did hit a low of 24.24 we talked about that in the weekly outlook and prediction breaking out of the falling wedge and getting this overall push to the upside now the main thing is confirming 2503 as support which is what i think we're going to do tomorrow i think that gamestop will consolidate here in after hours and pre-market throughout today and tomorrow drop down retest 2484 as support and then get a bounce back to the upside confirming 2503 as support here on tuesday we talked about on the weekly outlook and prediction that monday and tuesday will most likely be a day or days of consolidation and recovery into wednesday and i believe that we're seeing this recovery start to form i think this is going to take place over tomorrow and wednesday where we can start to see a push to the upside and have a green week for the meme stocks now it is only monday but we are starting off good as we do have a green candle for gamestop and a green candle for amc and if you didn't know what happened with amc we're going to be breaking that all down as well as amc has major news that drop to Day. But GameStop is looking good in my personal opinion for that recovery. I think we're continuing to see bullish signs on the macro and it is very, very obvious that short sellers are getting pummeled and the short thesis is are dying and getting destroyed and we're going to talk about that here more in a second also the stocks are going macro bullish macro monthly macd getting that monthly macd green showing signs that we are going to start moving to the upside and start trending in a upward mannered over a long period of time when you get that green monthly macd that's when you go into an overall uptrend the same thing with bitcoin the same with other key assets that's when you start moving into these overall uptrends when you start getting these more macro signals that you're going to be moving to the upside so that's what i'm looking at for gme as far as the fractal is concerned i we are tracking right along with what i talked about on the weekly outlook and prediction that we would be getting a v-shaped style recovery moving back to the upside you guys can see that we went down into that buy zone collected that liquidity and got a boost back to the upside and we are tracking perfectly with the orange segment of the overall fractal from the 2021 run-up and we are looking good in my personal opinion to continue up towards that $30 level and if of course if GameStop does break $30 you're going to see a big boost to the upside fulfilling the overall fractal taking us to that overall rally of that $45 to $50 price target that we are looking for for GME stock so that's what we're looking at for GME based off the charts the facts and the data as far as short shares available to short for gme there is 2.9 short shares 2.9 million short shares available to short for gme and of course cost to borrow is sitting low for gme because of the recent dilution sitting at 0.51 percent we want to see those cost to borrow levels go up right now they're only sitting on about 300 thousand shares for amc this could change as early as monday morning and probably will change as they're going to try to short amc heavily because of the recent news that just dropped for amc amc cost of borrow sitting at 1.19 percent slightly coming up but still we want to see those cost of borrow levels come up a little bit higher for amc stock so that's what we're looking at for fundamental data for amc and gme and as far as technicals for gme now if you don't know what's happening as far as the news for amc 
debt restructuring news talks. Remember, we heard those rumors last week and the week before. Well, guess what? Those talks finally took place and we have an extension of debt maturities into 2029 and 2023. So 2029 and beyond. This means that bankruptcy for AMC is not a thing. Okay. Bankruptcy for AMC is not a thing. The box office is doing it well. We even have Adam Aaron tweeting as well, talking about how the box office is doing well. Things are looking good, and that is going to be positive for our stock. We have this news coming out that we have this debt restructuring. Again, this means that bankruptcy is not going to be a thing. And then we got this massive movement to the upside and then a halt, which we're going to be talking about in a second. But literally, this short thesis is destroyed in my personal opinion and if you look at what's happening as far as the macro is concerned the stock is starting to trend up we're starting to get box office doing very very well we literally have other movies like deadpool coming out we have the debt restructuring all the way into 2029 and 2030 we just raised a ton of capital from the shares that we use for the dilution so ladies and gentlemen amc is sitting in a comfy position and all of the reasons why shorts were shorting the stock that the movie theaters were dying that they weren't going to be around they thought they wouldn't even be around and now they are still here they're improving things are getting better the short thesis is literally dead and there is literally no reason for them to short these stocks other than the fact that it will cost them to cover those positions cost them greatly so we need to squeeze them out of these positions and they are getting squeezed from all angles as fundamentals and technicals collide again we're getting macro technicals if you look at what's going on here with the monthly macd weekly macd showing bullishness you can see that here on the weekly time frame we also have these buy signals same signals that we had before we had this massive movement to the upside we also have the fractal playing out the same way we had before we had a massive movement to the upside and now we have a bunch of bullish catalysts. I believe that earnings is going to be doing well for AMC as well. So again, as fundamentals collide, technicals collide, all improving, all saying bullish, bullish, bullish. This is going to lead to something bigger where the shorts cannot control it. And things are going to be absolutely insane when that does happen, especially if the market does start to trend down. Now, AMC did get this huge move to the upside. Of course, we did get a halt in the middle of this move and a lot of bad things that were just straight criminal happened during this halt. Now, me personally, I was infuriated. Some of you guys were like just crime, typical. No, this was absolutely heinous. First of all, they labeled it a T1 halt. If you go ahead and look, we could see during the live stream instead of T1 halt, they moved that to a T3 halt. But besides all of that, they were shorting during the halt. Even if it was a T1 or a T3 halt, okay. Then we had the halt for whatever amount of time, and then the news got released, and the stock got a halt after Adam Aaron made the tweet. Fine. But why were they shorting during the halt? We watched this live where they dumped over 200,000 short shares around the time of the halt. So they were literally shorting during the halt. And we've seen that price action was potentially moving because we also seen reports that stocks were showing on some um, programs and some brokers that it was showing as high as $10 or more on some option contracts and some shares. You guys can see here that we have a screen cap right here where it showed today about some contracts going up to about $10 and going way deep in the money. And of course, they did short those short shares during that time of the halt. So what was really going on during that halt? We don't have all of the answers yet, but I'm letting you know that was completely criminal and that was not normal. And they did use that to try to stunt momentum. Now, don't get discouraged because again, if they could completely control it and stop every single thing, then we would have never had this run up here. We would have never had the run in the past where we had these massive movements to the upside if they could stop all of the movements if they could stop all of the run-ups we would not be seeing these movements so they cannot stop everything they cannot control everything yes they can throw sticks and stones into the spokes sometimes and slow us down but it will not stop the overall eventuality 
and the inevitability of what is coming for the AMC apes, especially because the short thesis is destroyed, especially because the technical analysis is starting to line up on the macro level. We are looking good. Now we talked about on the weekly outlook and prediction, if we can break above and hold 525, the recovery is back in play and we are fully back in the game. Well, guess what? We are trying to hold 525 here in the after hours. I believe what we're going to see on AMC is consolidation here in after hours and pre-market coming back down dropping down to about 519 515 in that range here in the early morning popping back above 525 and confirming that level as support i think we're going to see bullishness for amc in a continuation to the upside as we did retest the bull flag and we are now breaking to the upside officially as far as the fractal is concerned we still need to break above that six dollar level to get the confirm confirmation of that bigger move to the upside there was a reason why they halted it there's a reason why they dumped six million short shares the last time we were getting momentum now we're coming right back up to that dangerous territory we are literally in line with blasting off if we can break above that six dollar level so it is looking really really good for amc stock if we get continue to get bullish catalyst and good news things could get absolutely crazy and we're sitting right below that threshold where we could really see things start to get crazy you guys can see every time we get near six dollars they do crazy things like the halt dump six million short shares desperate things to try to make sure we don't get above that level just imagine how crazy we're going to go once we finally break above it you can see that there are multiple sell walls there to try to protect against a bigger move and there are sell walls as high as ten dollars which is ironic that is where they were saying price was moving during that halt and these sell walls did pop up right after the halt so there is a ton of criminality going on but we are fighting against it every day and we are slowly moving to the upside playing out the fractal from 2021 and i believe we're going to see a bigger move to the upside remember in 2021 it took several months of consolidation before we seen a bigger move we had that smaller move then one two three months and then we got that larger move which took place over about a two three month period from bottom to top i think we're seeing the same thing now where we had a big move a period of consolidation we're about to get some bullish catalyst and push us to the upside and we are going to see this phase eight to nine play out in my personal opinion so just be aware of everything going on if we break above and hold 525 we're officially back in the game of course if we get above 550 things are going to get interesting because there's a gamma ramp there and of course six dollars is the ultimate level because if we break above six dollars we're going to go absolutely flying we are dangerously close to this and i think we're going to see a continuation of this recovery that i talked about in the weekly outlook and prediction into tomorrow and i believe we're going to continue to see a green week for the meme stocks and things are getting extremely exciting in my personal opinion so that's what we're looking at for amc let's go ahead and move into spy and then go into bitcoin and then go ahead and wrap up this daily outlook and prediction so spy did get a bounce back to the upside i think spy had an overall inverse head and shoulders which i called out during the live stream right here's your shoulder right here's your head right here's your shoulder spy coming up to the support and resistance levels that we were expecting for an overall retest of this overall trend line now the thing is if spy can break above this trend line you're going to see a nice pop to the upside where it could probably fill these gaps but if it does not and can break down you're going to see a big movement to the downside so we're going to be watching very very closely if spy can break above these key levels i think spy's not done yet i think spy is going to push up towards 556 90 so i think this rally for spy that we're seeing is going to go a little bit higher but from what i'm seeing overall it looks like we're most likely going to be rejecting to the downside and not breaking back inside of it i do want you prepared though if we did break back inside of this overall channel that we've been in for all this time that you would see a pop to the upside to fill these gaps fills that we made when we made the major move down but what it looks like i'm going to be thinking is going to be happening is we're going to come up retest around 555 90 556 90 around that range and then start to reject um, back down to the downside in my personal opinion and i do think we're going to see an overall red week for spy in my personal opinion based off everything i'm seeing here as far as Bitcoin is concerned, Bitcoin trying to break back above 69,200. If you see Bitcoin break above 69,200, it's going to confirm even more that that overall all-time high factor is in play i told y'all that i think bitcoin is going for a move towards all-time highs after consolidating in this range and then getting this spring to the upside and holding this overall trend line 
I think Bitcoin is going to be moving for a move for all time highs. And I think this is being confirmed. Bitcoin even flashed a little bit green today. I think it's just basically consolidating and getting ready to make a move back to the upside. If you've seen green weekly MACD, so if you see MACD go green again on the weekly, that means we're definitely going back to all time highs. But I think this was an overall accumulation range. We came down for a spring and we're going to be making a move back towards 72K and higher, in my personal opinion, maybe even 80K coming here soon for BTC and I think that Ethereum is also setting up for a move towards all-time highs as it is making an overall bull flag if Ethereum were able to break above about 4,000 even and use that level as support you would see a move towards that all-time high level and it would be an explosive move I believe that the market is setting up for this and coiling up for this last move where it's going to make another leg to the upside and continue this overall cryptocurrency bull run that I called way back when Bitcoin was at $15,000 per coin. So ladies and gentlemen, that is your daily update and prediction for stocks and crypto. I do believe crypto is going to be an amazing opportunity in my personal opinion, and I'll probably be rolling most of my gains from AMC and GME into cryptocurrency if you watch the end of this video go ahead and leave a comment down below to help support the channel even more and press like and i appreciate you if you watch the end because that truly helps out a lot as well and as always y'all have fun stay safe make money peace out and if you want to support the channel in a different way you can check out the merch store linked in the comment section down below i am wearing some of the merch right now again linked in the comment section down below peace all right, y'all, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like and press subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow. And as always, y'all, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.